Well, Mohammed Abu Hashim is a legal researcher and human rights consultant. He joins me now live from Gaza. Hi, Mohammed. First, help us better understand the dynamic here. First, the Palestinian Power Authority could provide energy to Gaza, but says they have to charge these high prices. Is that indeed the case? Uh, really, I want to make clear that uh, there is a tax uh, the Palestinian Authority used to exempt the Gaza Strip from the what called blue tax. Now, uh, Palestinian Authority decided not to exempt the Gaza Strip anymore from this tax. That means that uh, electricity will not come to the electricity plant in the Gaza Strip anymore. That means 40% uh, of the electricity provided to Gaza will be cut. So your feeling then is that the Palestinian Authority is trying to play what play politics with this issue against Hamas? Yeah, uh, Palestinian Authority declared that they will take steps against the Hamas government uh, to uh, uh, to make to make it give up uh, authority for the unity government. But as we see here, that the Palestinian Authority is trying to suffocate people in Gaza to make Hamas uh, give up, and that's not human anyway. Is there more, however, that either Turkey or Qatar could do to provide for Gaza's energy needs? Turkey and Qatar already provided Gaza with three months of fuel, but I don't think that they will renew it. Uh, hopefully, we in Gaza Strip don't expect that Qatar will um, uh, extend its uh, grant of fuel. So we're expanding the wars here in the Gaza Strip. And, and why not? Why won't Qatar or Turkey provide more? Uh, I, think that, uh, I, I think that Abbas uh, government uh, takes these steps after he made coordination with the whole world that Gaza should uh, regain by uh, government uh, in Ramallah. So they decided to take back Gaza. And oh. the only way is maybe suffocating Gaza until it gave up. OK, then where does this all leave civilians in Gaza who've been struggling terribly just to uh, survive now on a daily basis? Yeah, we are the only victims here. Uh, by the way, we're already paying the uh, blue tax in, in the pills. Uh, it, it, we are already paying it, but Hamas government considers itself as a part of the government uh, in Ramallah. So uh, it says that uh, it couldn't uh, or shouldn't pay taxes to the government. Uh, otherwise, we are already paying. We already paying the bill with the blue tax. So I, I don't see uh, Hamas um, uh, position of this situation because the people will suffer only people in the Gaza Strip. Uh, Hamas government will not suffer. Fatah government will not suffer. Okay, Mohammed Abu Hashem, thank you so much for joining us there from Gaza.